Christian Talati from BSN2 A-3. And for today's video, I will be showing with you how to properly don the Leopold's maneuver, as well as how to measure the fundic height of a pregnant woman. So without other further ado, let's get started. Before going to the patient's room, make sure to gather all the equipments that you will be needing. Provide privacy for the patient. Good afternoon, ma'am. I am Shanta Lati, your student nurse from Our Lady of Fatima University. So for verification, ma'am, may I ask your name and your birthday? Good afternoon, ma'am. I'm Ronalyn Cordes, and my birthday is April 20, 1993. Okay, ma'am. How would you like me to address you? Um, you can call me Rona. Okay, ma'am Rona. So, ma'am Rona, um, allow me to explain the procedure that we will be doing today. So, our procedure is called the Leopold's Maneuver. It means it has four maneuvers or four grips. And this is important for us to know the fetal presentation and fetal lie of the baby inside your Womb. So, is that okay with you, ma'am? Okay. Okay. So, before we start our assessment, um, you can first urinate on our restroom so that there will be no discomfort once we start our assessment. For the next one, do the proper hand washing to avoid any cross-contamination of microorganisms. So, for this case, it is necessary to use a warm water. Allow the pregnant woman to lie in a supine position with slightly knee flexed. And provide a small pillow and put it on her back so that it will not cause any supine hypotension syndrome. So ma'am, allow me to remove this one and expose your belly. So for the first maneuver or fundal grip, we will be assessing for the presentation of the baby or the fetal light. So we're going to be assessing if it's breech or if it's cephalic. You can see that it is breech if it's round, if it's hard, and if it's movable. But if it's round, soft, and immovable, it means it's cephalic. So I will be facing the client and I will be forming a triangle. So you are going to palpate right here. So observe for the necessary findings that I said to you earlier. Okay. Now I'll be using my tape measure to identify the fundic height measurement of the baby. So I will be using the centimeter part. So the zero line must be superior to the symphysis pubis, which is located here. And we're going to be following the abdominal curve. So remember that it must be the dominant hand. Okay. For the next grip, which is the umbilical grip or the second maneuver, we're going to be palpating on the sides of the uterus. Now in here, we're going to be determining the fetal's back because it is important for us to know where can we auscultate the fetal's heartbeat so or the fetal's heart rate. So it is important because we will be placing the Doppler here later on or the fetoscope to determine the normal heart rate of the baby which is 120 to 160. Now I will be palpating right here. So observe that my left hand will be stationary for a while while my right hand is moving. So palpate it. from top to bottom and vice versa. My right hand will be stationary for this time and my left hand will be moving. Again from top to bottom. You can determine the fetal's back because it is flat, has a resistant surface and it is hard. But if you palpate any angular nodulations, it means that it is the lower extremities of the fetus or it is the elbows and knees. Now, let's proceed to the third maneuver, which is the Powick's grip. 
So in here, I will be forming an L shape on my hand, which is my index finger and my thumb. So I will be placing it right above the symphysis pubis of the patient. So I will be putting it here. So we're going to be observing here the degree of engagement. So if this moves, when you move it from side to side, or when you move it upward to lift up the head, because some other institutions do that, it means that the fetus head is not engaged. But if you move it and it's immovable, it means that it is engaged. And for the last maneuver, we're gonna be doing the pelvic grip. So this is the fourth maneuver. So for the first, second, and third, we are facing the client. But for the fourth maneuver, we're gonna be facing its foot. So we're gonna be starting here, we're going to have approximately 2 inches on the inguinal ligament. So we're going to be palpating it downward motion. So to the sides again. So this is also somehow to confirm the second maneuver which is the umbilical grip. So in here, we're going to be doing or determining or assessing the degree of flexion. So we're going to be palpating it. Remember that a well-flexed head is right opposite to the fetal back. Once you're done with your assessment, make sure that your patient is in a comfortable position. Don't forget also to wash your hands. And note all any unusual findings or any findings that you have found on your patient. So that's it guys for today's video and I hope to see you on my next one. Thank you for watching! The next one is the next one. The next step is dirty hand washing. So is this a the next? <laughs> so why is hand washing? In so the next step is to avoid I, to avoid hand washing. So that there will be no discomfort once we start our assessment. <laughs> Good afternoon. Bye. Hi, Sir Marlon. Hi, Shabby. Okay, ask your name and your birthday. Thank you. Good afternoon. Good I also provided the privacy for the patient earlier so that she will be sure she will be sure <laughs> I will be palpating for the fetal Thank you so much mom again for coming <laughs> Oh, funny, but enemy.